smoking without smoke. No one would disagree with the fact that smoking tobacco is bad for health. More than five million people die every year of consequences of smoking, including secondhand smoke. People smoke because they value the pleasure they get from nicotine and tobacco, over the health damage from the prolonged nicotine inhale. But luckily for those die-hard smokers who want to quit the real thing, there is electronic cigarette, e-cigarette, which has recently been introduced to the market. This cigarette-like gizmo is put on the lips like the traditional cigarette. And uses electricity from a small battery to vaporize a nicotine-containing solution for smokers to breathe. The experts say the e-cigarette separates the dangerous parts of smoking from the nicotine. That includes the tar, carbon monoxide, and smoke released by the process. The only drawback of smoking e-cigarette is no more puffing smoke rings to impress people. E-cigarettes not only save the lives of smokers, but they also bring benefits to bystanders. Without secondhand smoke from a real cigarette, people around the e-cigarette smoker are not adversely affected. There are no public nuisances and no hazards to others as well. But there are people and countries against the e-cigarette. Health lobbyists are determined to stub them out. Some claim that e-cigarettes may act as gateways to the real thing. Some say the flavors added to the nicotine-bearing solution make e-cigarettes especially attractive to children. Several countries, including Austria and New Zealand, restrict the sale of e-cigarettes, classifying them as medical devices. Others, like Brazil and Singapore, ban them altogether. Some airlines ban passengers from using e-cigarettes on their planes. However, the proponents of the e-cigarette say that puritanism, not reason, drives these objections. Some health lobbyists are so determined to prevent people from doing anything that remotely resembles smoking, a process referred to as denormalization. The right approach is not to denormalize smoking, but to normalize e-smoking. Those who enjoy nicotine will be able to continue to use it, while everyone else will be spared from both the public health consequences of smoking and the nuisance of other people's smoke. What's not to like? It would also be a good idea to do some proper research on nicotine. Nicotine is a poison, but is mainly a defense mechanism for tobacco plants to stop insects. Some nicotine poisoning is pretty low on the list of bad things on which ordinary cigarettes are accused. Some researchers reckon nicotine to be no more dangerous than caffeine, which coffee plants similarly contain as an insecticide.